Hey, it's a little falava. This is Leah Tawa, Dr. John Peterson, and you're watching TE2 Edge Sports Cards. Hope everybody's doing well out there and you're living blessed. I know I am. It is Wednesday, November. Let's see here. Today is the second. I don't know. Maybe today. Yeah, today is the second because Monday was Halloween. Um. Yeah, my birthday is on the 5th, so I'm looking forward to celebrating that. I actually have some great news. Um, hit the like or su the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I'd really appreciate that. Leave me a comment. Um, <clears throat> and much respect and, and, and much love to those who have already done that and all the hardcore subscribers that I've got to this channel. I really appreciate you all. Um, I got good news. I will be doing a show on Saturday. <laughs> Evidently... Um, the Twin Cities Sports Collectors, uh, a show out in Bloomington, Minnesota at the Valley West Mall. So come check that out if you haven't done that already or aren't planning to do that. It'd be great to see you uh, if you're planning to come out. But anyway, uh, last week, so every Wednesday before the weekend of the show or two weekends before the show, you have to register. And so uh, I had registered last week uh, and I didn't hear back and then I emailed them. And uh, the guys who organized the show, and they said, well, you, you registered on Tuesday rather than Wednesday. <laughs> so I guess I was overly eager to get in on the show um, last week. So anyway, I was on the waiting list. I was second on the waiting list. And uh, they told me that a couple of people canceled, and I will be able to have a table there. So I'm really looking forward to that, spending my birthday chopping it up with people about sports cards and hopefully selling some cards and maybe doing some deals. So anyway, that's the big news there. Um, I thought I'd uh, show you this. Uh, this is a weekly market update that I receive. I, I also have a realtor's license, and so I get market updates from different sources. And uh, I thought I'd share this with you um, regarding the uh, upcoming Federal Reserve meeting today, actually. Uh, the Fed's meeting today, uh, pretty much uh, consensus that a 75 basis point increase is going to happen with the Fed's funds rate. Um, that has already been priced into most of the mortgage rates that you see. Um, what's really going to be important is what uh, the Fed Chair Jerome Powell has to say in his conference, our news conference after the meetings. Um, I guess we'll have to see what his outlook is and make some inferences in terms of what he says as to how we're going to be uh, approaching the next month and, and December and into the new year. Um, some folks are arguing that the current Fed policy of hard and fast tightening is a case of too much all at once, and we really have yet to feel the true impact of the three previous 75 basis point bumps. There's some truth with that. When it comes to basis uh, point increases, oftentimes that's not impacted or felt as an impact until like three to four months after the basis point increase. And so... You know, it'll be really interesting to see what happens with inflation in the coming three to four months because by that time we're going to definitely be feeling the impact of those increases. It's possible, it's possible that we could see deflation and that deflation is already in process. That's my current guess. Um, I think prices have stabilized on some things. Uh, frankly, some of the prices that we're seeing for stuff is what we should be have been paying anyway, or would have been paying anyway if it weren't for the pandemic. I think the pandemic is very much an anomaly in terms of the cost of goods and services um, over the last three years. But we have to be careful because if we increase the basis points too much, too fast, um, too soon, uh, that could drive recession. Now, one of the nice pieces about uh, the unemployment rate is that it's very low right now. And so I guess we'll have to wait and see. It's going to get interesting be definitely checking out to see what the, the Fed has to say today. And uh, I think it's pretty much common knowledge that they're going to increase at 75 points. But I'll be curious to see what they have to say about inflation. What does that mean for sports cards? Well, I can tell you that it has been an interesting last couple of weeks. I went through and repriced. When I found out that I was going to be doing the show this Saturday, I went back and repriced a bunch of my vintage stuff and a lot of stuff has dropped in price uh, since even just last month so it could mean that now's a good time to maybe look for some targeted buying if you have 
the cash and the capital to do so. I know that I picked up a 1957 Roberto Clemente uh, in a SGC slab at 7.5 yesterday for my birthday. I thought it was at a great price. I think the card actually is a CSG 8. Um, I've had good luck crossing over from SGC to CSG, which is kind of one of my things, along with BVG to CSG. And uh, looking forward to uh, getting that card uh, submitted and uh, hopefully in a CSG slab and maybe even in an 8. So, yeah, there's definitely opportunities. Um, if you come to my table, you're going to see reduced prices for sure on the vintage stuff. I don't think I'm going to do football this week or this month. I'm just going to do uh, vintage bas vintage baseball and bring some of my vintage basketball, vintage football, but not display it. So if you haven't had a chance, check out TE2 on the MySlabs.com website. You can find all your cards from TE2 in the Gallery of Greats. Just type in TE2, hit the search button, or hit return, and you can get a sense of all the cards that I've got in there. Um, you can filter by newest first, oldest first, most likes, most views, most tracked. Let's see what some of the most tracked cards are. Ooh, okay. Hank Aaron, 59 tops, is highly tracked. The Irving rookie, which doesn't surprise me a whole lot. 57 Mantle, for sure. Love this 60 Koufax. Uh, love this Gibson rookie. This is a great card, too. 1966 tops. NL batting leaders from 65. Clemente Aaron Mays in a 7. And this is one of my all-time favorite cards right here. This 1956 Jackie Robinson in a, in a CSG8. Just a beautiful card. So, yeah, check out uh, T2, the Gallery of Greats, as I call it, on MySlabs.com. Look for all your uh, various card buying desires and needs. Um, I don't really do a PC collection, per se. Everything that I own is, is, is potentially for sale. Uh, some of these prices have been updated. Like, for example, this Willie Mays, I think I had it. 375 and I dropped the price down to 300 uh, just yesterday uh, but some of this stuff has not been repriced like this Elgin Baylor card I just I'm not going to reprice that right now just uh, too many cards to try and go in and, and readjust so um, anyway appreciate you all watching uh, like I said leave me a comment uh, be real curious to see what people think about the market information that I provided I do think we're going to bounce back. I just think it's going to take a few months. You know, we're probably going to have to wait until the spring for things to bounce back. But when they do, prices are going to increase. And uh, I think now the question really is, is now the right time to buy? Or are things going to get worse? You can never predict that. Even investors can't predict that, the ones that work on Wall Street. I think you have to be very selective about what you want to purchase now. But if you have some capital resources makes sense to uh, uh, pick up some things that you might like that you think are at a good price. All right, take care. Peace out. One love.